Well, thought I'd give you a little update of Project GP. Those of you that don't know, uh, this is a Jeep that I got given to me. It was a perfectly good running Jeep driving. It was the four cylinder with a six speed manual and uh, fuel injected because it's a 2006, which was the last year of the Jeep TJ. But it's my forever Jeep. Uh, I got it given to me because they know that I'm passionate about Jeeps and that I like them and as an old man and uh, he was going into a, a nursing home and he was doing fine financially for what he needed to do. And uh, I treated him good all along the way and long story short, he always joked with me, I'm gonna give you my Jeep when I die, you know, it's in my wheel. And then before he died, he actually, uh, and, or, or then he came to me and said, hey, before, before I die, I would like you to have the Jeep. You know, I gotta go into the home, no reason for me to keep it. And, uh, and I want you to have it. So anyway, his name was Bob. Bob named it GP. That's why his name is GP. I imagine there's a lot of GPs out there. Uh, however, this is my forever TJ. I got a sandblasted chassis. I've gone, I've taken this thing down to the bare frame, uh, cleaned all the brackets off. It's not totally finished prep there, but my goal is to do it right. You know, it's gonna be on coilovers. Uh, I've been slowly stashing away stuff. These are some wheels I scored. You can see I labeled the harness from when I pulled the four cylinder out and everything that's there, but I uh, wasn't satisfied with the four cylinder. I drove it home from Moab with 37s on it and the four banger. And there was times I was going like 20 miles an hour up the road over the big grades. It was terrible. And so then that came home and I gutted it, you know, and now obviously it turned into a lot of projects. Since then I had two baby girls. Uh, one's now gonna be four years old at the end of the month and one is two. Uh, so anyway, kind of crazy, life throws you that. And then me and Heidi got married and now the Jeep sits. But let's show you this Jeep a little bit. I it's clean, it's a little dusty dirty, cause like I said, unfortunately, but clean Jeep, only uh, like 60,000 miles on it. So super clean. It's got red half doors, cause I traded full doors for half doors. I've been like stripping the Jeep down, but I'm also making it the way I want it to keep it. So got a hood from my CJ7 outside, that's outside up on it. These are not the tire and wheel I'm gonna run, it's just sitting there. But my goal is to, uh, I'm gonna do an LS in it. Uh, a little bit undecided. I have a Schwenke 5.3, but I have a feeling we're gonna end up doing uh, maybe a six liter or something. I wanna do something fun, make it a little hot rod Jeep. So I have some JL axles I scored, Rubicon ones with 5.13 gears already. I think I'm gonna put some 40 inch tires on it, but I'm gonna still make this thing a street, street driver because that's what I want it to be my daily but I gotta make it fast, you know, can't have it slow. But yeah, so little update is, we're down to the bare frame. I got things like coilovers stashed over here that I've been doing. I got the high steer knuckles back there for the JL, or for the JK axles. But then I scored some JL Rubicon axles. So those are five on five bolt pattern. So it's gonna end up working out pretty slick. So excited to make some progress on it, but unfortunately that's the current condition. So today I kind of cleaned up the garage, I sold the golf cart, got these tires for sale, horse trading for some other tires, and then we'll uh, get figured out all the suspension that we're gonna do on it. But it's definitely gonna get a four link rear, probably a three link front, 12 inch coilovers, in the front, 14s in the rear. Should make it do what I want it to do and keep a low ride height and a big tire. So that's the skinny on GP update. Try to make some more progress videos and progress.